We start in Ethiopia and a startling revelation from the country's prime minister. It's been just over a week since soldiers marched on Abiy Ahmed's palace. At the time, he described it as nothing more than a pay dispute. Now, Abiy has told the country that it was actually a coup attempt. Well, for more on this, uh, we are joined live by Omar Reddy. He is a political analyst and director of Ifriqiya Media Communications, which is based in Addis Ababa. Thank you very much for joining us. Following these revelations from the Ethiopian Prime Minister, what are the political implications of this coup attempt? Thank you very much for having me. Uh, the political implications, uh, in, in fact, this is very interesting revolution from the Prime Minister coming uh, today, as you said. The political implications of this revolution uh, e, uh, are uh, uh, what is at stake for both sides, for the reformists within the government and those who oppose the, the reforms of the Prime Minister Abiy Ahmed's administration are really big, bigger than what really people uh, um, think. Uh, so for those who oppose uh, the, the reforms, uh, they, it, in, it, it indicates that they are set to lose and lose big, really big. So they are determined to, uh, to fight to the end and it looks like uh, they are approaching it with uh, a die-hard uh, uh, technique. For the reformists, uh, it, impl it implies that they have uh, a lot of uh, cleaning to do within their backyard. That is uh, the government structure, the, it, the ruling party structure, and the security structure, including the army, because this has come from within the government, within the army, and uh, the, 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 uh, as Abi uh, Ahmed indicated, this is being orchestrated by people uh, who are against uh, uh, the reform, uh, who actually used the, the existing structure within the military. Uh, well, as you're saying there, Prime Minister Abiy is seen by many as a reformist. Who then is opposed to his reform agenda and does he have enough support within the ruling Ethiopian People's Revolutionary Democratic Front? Yeah, that's an interesting question. Uh, like, I, like, uh, like I said earlier, uh, the, the, the people who are opposing his reform agenda uh, are those uh, who are set to big uh, to, to lose big uh, from the change that are coming uh, within the Ethiopian government and across Ethiopia. Uh, these are people essentially who have been benefiting from the system that has been uh, in place in Ethiopia for, uh, for nearly three decades and they have been benefiting economically, they have been benefiting uh, in a lot of ways because they have controlled power and they have had uh, uh, big, big connections within the government. So these people uh, are opposed uh, against the reforms and the change, uh, the, the administration, uh, the new administration is spearheaded by Abiy Ahmed and his deputy, Demeka Makonnen, are uh, embarking up upon. Yes, uh, they have uh, support within the ruling party, especially among the youthful membership of the ruling party. Uh, oh. That is uh, indicated, that, 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 that shows with uh, the current uh, cabinet reshuffle that uh, Prime Minister Abiy Abi Ahmed uh, has uh, undertaken. Uh, the, the, the new administration, his new cabinet is uh, essentially full of young EPRDF members. Uh, so that indicates these are his loyalists, uh, these are who support his reform agenda. So the useful membership of the, the EPRDF is still uh, with him, but that doesn't mean he doesn't have challenge within the ruling party. He still has a uh, challenge because there are, even within the youthful membership, the youth membership of the ruling party, those who seem to be loyalists to the old guards, those who are losing from the change Abi and his uh, team are embarking upon. Oh, we're ready. If you could just hold on for a moment, we will return to you in a moment. Uh, we are going to go to our report now uh, from CGTN's Giram Chala on this revelation that it was indeed a coup in Ethiopia. Image that caught Addis and the rest of Africa by surprise. A former soldier himself, Abi joined them 
in push-ups before discussing their grievances. The smiles, though, disguised what was actually going on. On Thursday, Abi told Parliament the real story. The way the soldiers came to the palace was not only unconstitutional and dangerous, but the bigger intention was to abort the reform. Imagine what could have happened if the current prime minister was not a soldier himself and was a civilian. Apart from the push-ups I did, I was unusually calm from the face, but I was burning inside. In the six months since he took office, Abe has presided over sweeping reforms. Many fear he has run up against resistance. Already, there has been an alleged assassination attempt. The soldiers' march on the palace was seen by some observers as stark evidence of the forces ranged against Abe. He says the situation could have easily spiraled into violence. Even after concluding that everyone in that group had ill intentions, taking action using the air force or other means and killing some of them, even though we prevented the reforms from being frustrated, would have jeopardized our acceptance worldwide, since the reforms would be seen as not being supported by the military. Rather, what we did was calm the situation down. Abi says the soldiers have revealed the masterminds behind their action and that authorities are now pursuing them. It is my responsibility to act the way I did just to save lives, by acting as if I was okay. That is how I do my job. Applause for the Prime Minister then. But worries too. Abi has brought Ethiopia a long way since he took over. This incident, though, will confirm fears that some powerful forces are not content with the direction he is taking. Grumjala CGTN, Adi Sababa, Ethiopia. Well, returning now to Omar Reddy, the political analyst and director of Ifriqiya Media Communications in Addis Ababa. Um, I'd just like to ask you this final question. Moving forward, what must the Prime Minister Abiy do to address this emerging rift between the reformists and those opposing these reforms in the country? Yeah, uh, there are a couple of things that the Prime Minister has to do, the administration, the, in the entire administration has to do. Uh, the first uh, thing, as uh, was indicated in the earlier report, the forces uh, that are against the reform are uh, really powerful. So he has to uh, face, them, face them head on and really tackle this uh, with a firmer and a stronger position. Uh, Abi has been trying to, um, to appease, to, try to handle this uh, situation in a smooth way because for the past 27 years, everything in Ethiopia has been ethnicized. So if you um, uh, touch someone from a certain ethnic group, people would interpret it uh, to say uh, our man, our uh, person has been uh, attacked. So that would uh, help the anti-reform forces to capitalize on that and uh, build, uh, create another chaos, ethnic uh, or ethnically oriented chaoses. So. Moving on, he has, the second thing the administration has to do is uh, they have to name names. They have been uh, saying these forces, that forces, these people, that people, without actually naming who they are. People have been speculating, uh, uh, such as old guards within the government, those who are said to lose big from the, the reform. So he has to start naming them because people are, are increasingly getting frustrated with these uh, shadow people. So he has to name them, name them and then um, uh, face them head on. Uh, the, this has come to his own backyard, to the prime minister's backyard with the, uh, with the uh, standoff with the soldiers that, uh, that we are talking about. There are no more red lines to cross. So there, are, there is no more room for uh, appeasing uh, these anti, 
uh, reform, anti, essentially, uh, um, change forces w with, with, within Ethiopia. Okay, thank you very much for your an an analysis there. That was Omer Reddy, a political analyst and director of Ifriqiya Media Communications based in Addis Ababa.